Hello everyone, this is your boy Austin Joey Teen, aka Giovanni Huerta, and welcome to another exciting episode of the Pokemon Sword and Shield DLC, Isle of Armor. Now, if you guys have not checked out the last episode, which was the most intriguing episode, because, you know what, we did a lot of sight viewing with Kofu, we saw a lot of adventurous stuff, and I'm very eager to get this episode going, my boys, because I saw that it, the two towers, I was very intrigued what they do. I'm wondering between the five towers being the darkness and the water, and then there was another one, the fighting dojo in the desert. Just the point that there's a lot of towers. I wonder if Kupfu could have evolved into something else, or I'm just curious in general what the towers are and what their purpose is in this game. So without further ado, we are gonna go into that water tower that you guys see in the distance. I might blop there unless I'm already there. Actually, as a matter of fact, I just made my way over there. <laughs> I didn't really need to make a cut because on this bike, I make the possible. I mean, I mean, I make the impossible possible, you know? So anyways, let's go ahead and do the water tower. I know that sounded wrong, but I do not care. We're going to go ahead and take this on like a man. We're about to do this. Come on, Kufu. I believe in you, Kufu. Alrighty. So this is going to be the water tower. We're going to go ahead and take this on. Hello, awesome Joey Teen. Master has already sent word. This is the Tower of Waters. It's a special training out that only Kufu can use. If you want to climb the tower, please make sure that Kufu is the only Pokemon on your team. Alrighty, we're gonna go and take on the first gym or whatever battle this is. I am super stoked. I'm wondering if we should be expecting some water type Pokemon. So that is why I taught my boy Kufu a very special move that will definitely come in handy. So show me your Psyduck, I thought so. We're gonna show off Kafu. Charlie, let's do this. Let's go, Charlie. Show him what you got. Show him what you got, brother. Show him what you got. Show him that you got no time for these shenanigans. Throw him a thunder punch. Throw him a thunder punch. Go! Kaya! There you go. Bye-bye. Bam. We're done. We're done. Bye. Let's go. Next, 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 next guy. Boom. Let's go. I defeated you. All right, all right, all right, let's do this. I didn't expect this to be a challenge, Loki. So let's go ahead and go up to the next tower and see what we got in store, boys. All right, let's see. Let's go up against you, my man. Let's show me another electric Pokemon. Show me, I mean, another water type Pokemon. I know water is a, a, adaptable, you know, I see that. I, I know you're a student from Master Mustard, but just know that I have a reputation back in Galar, not in the Eye of Armor, but that I'm I'm basically the champion. You're basically going gonna going up against the champion, so I'm sorry, but your chances of winning are very slim to none. So we're gonna go ahead and throw another Thunder Punch and we're gonna go and say blah blah bye. Did you actually survive? Holy crap, you actually survived. Alright. Alright, I'll give you that. Alright, I'll give you that. You did pretty good. You did pretty good. Throw another Thunder Punch. I, I think that's a little bit overkill, but you know what? I do not care. You're dead. Dead. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Krabby. Sayonara. Okay. So, we're gonna go ahead and throw away that. So, we're, uh, we're already done with the second match up. This is pretty smooth. Not gonna lie. And what's with this background music? I don't know. It just feels a little bit... Kind of like you guys are just trying to like, you know, like hype this moment up like to his evolution or something. But you, you guys are not hitting the right notes. I'm not going to lie. It's, 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 it's not like hype up music, you know, it's just like background music. You just put on this, you know? Oh, well. So what are with these water puns? I, or at least I think they're water puns. So we're going to go up against the third trainer and we're going up against Marrow. Okay. So this is another Pokemon. So Azuril is now added on to this. So another fairy and water type that I have to deal with. Holy crap, that's kind of scary, not gonna lie. So we're gonna go ahead and throw another Thunder Punch because everything is super effective and it's not gonna one shot because I know it doesn't. At least we don't have to deal with an Azuril. I mean, a uh, Azumarill because Azumarill will be a pain in the arse because uh, maybe any fairy type move will own Cub Food like a beast. Oh God. All right, Meryl. Bye-bye. Sayonara. All right. So Meryl's down for the count. That is the third trainer. We got two more trainers left. Let's go ahead and bop those real quick. And we're going to go and continue on with our lives. You know, that's that's all we got to do, you know. 
All right, impressive. You can now proceed to the fourth floor. All right, let's go again. Go to the fourth floor and let's go and destroy this guy. Let's try to not heal. Let's try to go for no heal on this dojo. I believe we can do that. Hmm. Water changes the form and even its name on a whim. Can you contain it? Well, rain teams are a bit difficult to take on. I'm not going to lie on that. So who are you going to send out? Poliwhirl. Okay. So I'm expecting like an electric type move or so. I mean, I'm expecting like some dynamic punches. Something like that of the sort. So we're going to go ahead and thunder punch. And hopefully we can go for the paralyze. And can we go for the paralyze? Oh, much shot. Why would you go for the mud shot of move, all moves? Oh, does that mean you outspeed me now? Okay, no, you, you just use protect. Okay. Uh, uh, well played, well played, my boy. Well played. So, we're gonna go ahead and throw downs with another thunder punch. And okay, yeah, it, it is way much faster than me because of that mud shot. That is kind of ridiculous. We're gonna go ahead and finish this off. Now, honestly, I might have to honestly heal. I do not want to heal, but unfortunately, I might have to because I don't know what to expect for the next one. So, we've beaten the fourth dojo trainer, I guess you want to call it. So, I'm not really reading the much dialogue since I'm pretty sure most of you guys have already read it and there's nothing too enticing, you know? So, anyways, you can now proceed to the top floor. He is waiting for you there. Dope. All right. I, I'm glad they're waiting for me, so so we're gonna go ahead and heal up real quick because I do not trust myself <laughs> Or at least I don't trust this game because this game could literally throw anything on its loop high key All right, let's go ahead and take on the last and final Trainer, I hope it's not mustard because if it's mustard, holy crap. Oh my god. I called it. It is mustard All right, let's take you on my boy. Let's go mustard there you are. I figured you'd choose to tell with water, so I decided to wait for you here. Sure, sure. You know, it's not like the NPC already decided, like, based on what... You know, it's gonna teleport wherever... Uh, well, it's gonna teleport muster wherever you choose at the end of the day, you know. It's just plot. Just to fill up the plot. But anyways. Also enjoy Team Kafu. You've both done well to get this far. But bear. Your final opponent is little old me. It's been a while since the last time I battled like this, but I think you can handle it. Hmm. Are you stronger than Leon? That's the question. A stream too clear is avoided by fish Pokemon. We all need some darkness in ourselves. Now let me be the one to teach you one final lesson on the essence of water. Alright. What you got? What the fudge? Yo, must okay now I can see why honey looks into you. Holy crap. Yeah, it's kinda hype, not gonna lie. Kufu versus Kufu, good thing I healed up. I'll need to get serious if I'm to take you on. Alright, I'ma say in two. Huh, let's go. Who let's go. Dodge, dodge. Alright, let's go. Brick break, brick break, break. Oh actually, you know what? Acrobatics. Acrobatics, bro. Acrobatics. Boom. Da da da. Let's go. Dodge. Dodge. Kafu. Dodge. 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 Come on. Oh, watch closely, Alison Jojo. This is what Kafu's fists are truly capable of. Oh, oh, oh. Dodge. Dodge, bro. Dodge, bro. Dodge. Oh no no. Oh gosh. Oh no 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 no. This is in trouble. All right, Charlie. Show him the finishing move. Acrobatics. Go. Da da da. Boom. Bopped. And he is. Oh, I knew you could do it. Woo! All right, that's freaking amazing. <laughs> oh my god. All right, we are doing this. We are doing this. Oh, I can't do backflip, unfortunately, guys. I can't do that. I'm not Goku Game. We're gonna do backflip. <laughs> Probably he can. Not, not gonna lie. But anyways, you young folk grow so fast and never ceases to amaze me. I got 14k from that. Okay. All right. I'll. Psh, I wish that was IRL money. Not gonna lie. Anyways, what a team. Hmm, impressive. Most impressive. Ha 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 ha. Aw, Kafu. <gasps> hey, thumbnail moment right there. Oh, look at Kafu. Ha, yeah, 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 yeah. Ha, 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 ha. And Loki, that's all I used to train with my friend. With boxing, like, yeah, nah, 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 nah. 
<laughs> okay, I don't know. That was kind of cringy, not gonna lie. Okay. Hopefully that fit in the frame. <laughs> Fuhahaha, I know you were worthy of my trust, Hostage Routine. You have done well, very well indeed, in raising Kudfu to this level of strength. Leon was once my best student a long time ago. He too attempted this job, but he never made it e to either tower. He got lost along the way. <laughs> now it's time and now it's finally time for Kudfu to evolve. Go and show Kudfu the scroll of waters. Kudfu is ready now. Oh this is gonna be a cool evolution. Never seen this. I mean, I think I've seen it on the trailer, but I've never seen it's fully evolution. So let's see, Kafu. Yes, yes. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it, Kafu. Let's do it, my bro. Oh, oh. Yes, look into it. Look into the scroll and you shall grow like Kafu Panda when he watches the scroll and learns the that or whatever that is. But anyways, hopefully that wasn't too loud in the microphone. And my boy Kafu is finally evolving, Charlie. Oh my god. That one episode of full developed, full development. Now you have evolved into Orishifu. Well, how you say that, Orishifu? Or, uh, however you pronounce it, please. Please, someone in the comment section, tell me how to pronounce this. I think it's Orishifu. The fighting on water top Pokemon, rapid strike style. It's believed that this Pokemon models its fighter style on the flow of a river. Sometimes rapid, sometimes calm. All right. Surging strikes. Ooh, water type move, I see. So we're gonna go ahead and oh my god, is a text that is pretty high. Special attack is kinda sucks butt cheeks, but alright. Surging strike. This user having master the water style strikes the target with a flowing motion three times in a row. This attack always results in a critical hit. That's kinda that's kinda OP right there. It's kinda OP. 25 base power. With stab, that's probably like 30. With crits. And I'm, I'm wondering what this ability does right now. So I'm curious. I'm very curious. Let's see how much power this thing. Behold. Before you stands Urishifu. Sure to be unyielding armor that will shatter any blade turned against it. Now it has mastered the style of water. Beakwa. Beakwa. Ha. You certainly grown, haven't you? And to think, not too long ago, you would have run and hid behind me, mo behind me the moment you got scared. Indeed, no matter how old I get, witnessing someone grow always brings joy to my heart. Awesome, Joey Team. Urushifu. Thank you both from the bottom of my heart. Oh, I almost forgot. I give this to anyone who has faced me when I was taking the battle seriously. Okay, I don't want your digits, but you, yeah, I'll take the lead card, my boy. All right, you're an interesting dude. Now then, let's head back to the dojo. Alright, I see you. Such talent and strength. Perhaps the time has come. What, what, what time are you talking about, my boy? Legendary time? Some... So... What's left? I'm honestly curious. Is, like, is that it for the DLC? Like... Is there anything interesting left? I, I, I am so, like, puzzled right now. Like, is episode 4, this is it? Like, I... Like... Okay, never mind, never mind. <gasps> Yo, Hot made it here? Goki made it here? Oh, wait. Oh, hey, welcome back, Oz and Jimmy team. Looks like you've been hard at work keeping up your training here at the dojo, eh? Huh. Hop, what are you doing here, my boy? Surprise and nicely done. Awesome, Joey T. That's just the reaction I was hoping for. I'm here on the Eye of Armor to research more about the Dynamax phenomenon. So I hear that you two are friends. How delightful. Hopkins here was just asking any permission. Was asked, just asking my permission to camp out on the Eye of Armor. But he, but where's the fun in mucking about in the mud? I was telling him he could stay. He should stay here at the dojo. I mean, he'd, it'd be loads easier than camping out for a long while. But wouldn't I be in the way? Everybody's welcome to wear their well, well, uh, wait, what? Everybody's welcome to wear out their welcome at the Master Dojo. Don't be shy, my boy. Besides, we're practically family already. You're the little brother of Leon, after all. Oh, that's kind of cute. Yeah, it's true. Lee did train here when we were both kids. Hmm. All right then, Master Mustard. You twisted my arm. I hope you don't regret it because I'm staying. Woo! The more the merrier. I'm pleased as punch in a gold-plated punch bowl. 
Which reminds me, awesome Joy Teen. I got something I've been meaning to tell you about Kufu, or, re or really, its evolution, Urishifu. The truth is, the lovable rascal is capable of Gigantamaxing too, but it's a bit tricky because it really can't stand the taste of Max Mushrooms. So Max Soup is off the menu, unless you can make it more appealing to it. Now there's a certain something you can find here on the Isle of Armor, though that will make it even Orishibo gobble up a bowl of Max Soup. What is it, bubble? And that certain something is... What? That certain something is... It's actually... What? What? What is it? The suspense here is killing me. It's killing me. Don't, don't, come on. Don't, don't, don't meme it. <laughs> Actually, I've, I've forgotten what it is. Oopsie doopsie. Oh my god. This guy, are you kidding me? No. <laughs> You're even more fun to tease than your brother ever was. That's really something I'm thinking of. It's sure to make Max Soup more palatable to a Shifu. And it has something to do with another Pokemon. Now, I think I'll let the two of you figure out just what it is. Give it a... Give it a good thing together. Now you're on your own, kiddos. The world is your cloister, so get cracking. Why a cloister? Huh. Oh, wow. I don't know what you're talking about, but anyways. Oh, is this uh, how you're training? So how's your training going, you know? I've really got no rapid ash in this race, but even I'm pretty curious about that certain something. But hey, anyways, I think I read something about Rushifu in a book once too. It's the Wushu Pokemon, right? The book said it lives in the mountains in some far off region. Really? Huh? You didn't know? Don't you have one awesome jewelry team? Didn't know much about that anyways. But yeah, I think I read that Rishifu is absolutely mad for some kind of stinky honey. <gasps> Ooh, awesome jewelry team! Honey is made from the nectar of flowers and plants, right? So maybe we need nectar made by some Pokemon that look like flowers and plants. And if we're looking for those kinds of Pokemon, then I reckon there might be lots in the forest. I'll be able to look into Dynamax along the way, so count on me for some exploration. There's a forest past this big marshland, right? Bet I could still make you there. So I'm wondering if I have to go back to find a Comfy, not gonna lie. I don't know if I had to find that. My money's on that, to be honest. I think I have to go find Comfy. Alright. So anyways, uh, I don't know how long have I been recording for. I've been recording for 21 more minutes. Uh, there is a lot of story left. I did not know that. Hmm, let's see. So I have to go to the forest, I think, right? Huh, the forest of focus. So I'll see you guys there in a little bit. Okay, I feel like a bit of an idiot because I don't know where Goki, I mean, Hop was at, but he, I think he was at the beginning of the entrance of a forest. Of the forest, I guess I just took the wrong route. But anyways, finally, awesome Joey Teen, I've been waiting forever for you. <laughs> now I've been waiting for you forever. <laughs> I thought Glimwood Tangle was a real maze, but this place is on an entirely different level, and it's so hot and humid that I'm sweating a pond over here. Tell me about it. That's Cali for you. Sonya and I split places to survey, and she opted for the cold and snow and all. Now, too bad we can't somehow divide this heat up between us, too, so we'd feel a little bit better. Anyway, I was checking out this Forest of Focus place while I was waiting for you to show up, and I saw signs that Lilligan and Applin live here. Maybe we should gather a bit of sweet nectar that this that Urushifo should love from their flowers and fruit. Really? Lilligan, how am I supposed to evolve this? Look, it's Patil. Patil evolves into Lil, which is just the Pokemon we're looking for. Huh? Okay. Oh, uh, hey, doesn't that Patil seem to be acting a bit strange? Is it Zora? Is it Zora? I think it looks a bit lost, not gonna lie. Yeah, now that you mention it, it's still pretty little. Maybe it got separated from its parents. Whoo! Oh, yo, 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 look at Patil, look at you, you're so adorable! Oh my god, you look so adorable. Whoa, you you glooming on to me? You really must be lost if you think I'm your mom. And now I'm stuck. Okay. You gotta help us here. Also, Joey Go find us one of Patil's parents or something, would you? Uh, okay. I'll wait here with this little one. I'm afraid I'll step on it if I start walking around. Oh my god, we're gonna have to look for Papa Lilijin or Mama Lilijin or whatever this is. I guess I wasted my time on Comfy, but whatever. Oh, there you go! Okay, I, I saw it from a distance, but here you go. Lilijin is finally here. Yo, are you the mom or are you the dad? I don't know. I have no clue. I, have to I can't assume genders here. I'd have to say, I don't know. What are you, mama or papa? What, what's, what's good? What's good, Lilijin? 
Um, we got your boy. We got your boy. We got your kid. All right, wants to follow you now. Later to where helping Petor. <gasps> oh my God, are you kidding me? I'm gonna have to go ahead and bike it back. I hopefully remember the route. So, anyways, I'm not gonna bore you with all that traveling. So I will see you guys momentarily. After a very long time, we have finally found the parent of this little gorgeous little Patil. So let's go and talk to Goki. So let's go. Oh, okay, not the Patil. Goki. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and talk to my boy. So finally, Oscar Joy Teen, and you, f and you found Legend. <laughs> oh, look at them. Oh, they look so adorable. Look at them. Mm, they look so adorable. Alright, hey, hey. Looks like they're pretty happy to see each other. Got to. Now, what you say, Oscar Joy Teen? I'd say Lady is trying to thank you. <gasps> Give us some nectar. Hey, give us some nectar, my boy. Let's go. Let's see. Let's see it. Huh? This is some nectar from your flower, little gin. Can't do. Oh, look at that, boy. All right, then. Ciao. Ciao. Bye. -bye. See you later. Uh, I'll call you Sarah. Bye, Sarah. Bye, Sarah. Bye, little Sarah. All right. Ciao. Now, do we have to look for that grass type Pokemon? Um, Applin. Do we really? Hopefully this nectar sweet and sticky just like Urushi likes it. Slurp. Hmm, I definitely would call it very sticky. It's pretty watery, not gonna lie. Hmm, I don't think this is what you need, mate, but at least we did a good deed anyway. Come on, let's get Applin's... Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Applin... Oh, God dang it, where is Applin, honestly? Uh, Applin is very... Uh, I guess I'll bop until I find an Applin, not gonna lie. What the heck? I don't even see the Applin myself. Where is it at? Where's the apple? Oh, that little thing. Yo, how can someone notice that? I can't even notice that. It's a cute apple, don't get me wrong, but god dang, how can you even notice that? How I, I can't even notice that. And I'm the dragon master here. Okay, apple. No, come on. Let me find out that it finds its evolution here. Flabapple and um, I forgot the other one. Oh, but I'm sure it went rolling off this way. We got to find that apple. Now, I'm pretty sure it's just in this tree. So, we're going to go ahead and bop this tree real quick. See, it's right up there. So, we're going to go ahead and shake it like until no tomorrow. We're going to shake that thing like until no tomorrow. Shake it, shake it. Shake that app with me. Shake that app with me. Be shake that app with me. Shake that apple with me. <laughs> I ran off again. Uh, is your head feeling a bit moist? That's gotta be Apple's nectar on you. My mother giving us a sip, but at least we still got what we came for. But is Apple's... I don't know. Well, they say the proof is in the pudding or the apple, so let's give it a try. Hmm. Hmm, I don't think you described it as sticky exactly. It's more like, hmm. It's not, it's not it. Like to say it wasn't it. Oh. <gasps> hmm. I was thinking nectar and honey was the same, so I was looking for plants and flowers, but what was I just barking up the wrong tree? Is it combi? Oh, no way, it's... Whoa, a venipede. I don't see one of those every... You don't see one of those every single day. It's cute looking, right? But it can produce a really thick, gooey poison inside its body, making it pretty dangerous. Hmm. Wait, that's it. I was stuck on Pokemon that produce nectar, but what we really need is a Pokemon that uses that sort of nectar to produce something else. Huh? Smell like honey? Yes! And when it comes to Pokemon that collect and store lots of nectar to make honey, well, the answer is obvious, right? Best for Coin or Combi. Uh, Beehive? The Beehive Pokemon has got to be the answer. I'm sure of it this time. And Best Pokemon is the Beehive Pokemon, right? Also, Joy Team, have you ever seen one? Uh, I don't think so. If we're talking about the Eye of Armor, I think we should find some on the island shaped like a honeycomb over near that big blue tower. Now that we know we're going, I'm off. Now, don't make me wait, Also, Joy Team. All right, so this has been full of adventures, full of, like, traveling, so... Uh, I I honestly curious. I'm honestly curious. So we're 30 minute, 38 minutes into this episode. So let's go and head off to that area and see what's up. After hours and hours of trying to find this island, I it really shouldn't have 
took me this long. But anyways, let's go and ahead and talk to my boy Hop. There you are, you're also awesome, glad you can finally make it. I know, right? I know, right? I know. I took forever here. I've seen loads of Combi around, but no sign of Vespaquin so far. But they're the ones that have sticky honey, you know? Mm -hmm. Huh? I borrowed a power spot detector from Sonya, but why is it going off now? Vespaquin is up there, isn't it? Is it reacting to this tree here? Hmm. Something's gotta be up. Awesome, Judy. I think we should check it out. Hmm. Are we supposed to go up? Oh, we're supposed to shake it? No way. No way. No. No. Don't, 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 don't anger the tree. Oh my god. I see the Vespa coin. Oh my lord. Oh no. Oh no. Is it a Gigantamax? Oh hell nah, bro. Ooh, it is a GM Max Bespiquin. Oh my god. Whatever it is that came from the tree sucks you into the Pokemon den. <gasps> that is high key kind of scary. Oh, okay. <laughs> At least it's not a G Max form of Bespiquin. I mean, I don't think there's a G Max version of it. So we got my boy Urishifu. So can we G Max my boy real quick? Because this would high key be very interesting. Now, depending on how easy it is, I might just bop to the end. If it's very, like, like it could take a couple of hits, I might just bop to where I kill it off. But if it's not that much, I just stick in, you know? Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, this has been the longest battle of my freaking career. This brought me flashbacks. Had this been a shady luck up to this point, this best Bitcoin would have literally abolished me because I've been using Max Revise because I did die, not gonna lie. It's kind of embarrassing, but then again, I only had two Pokemon and I only had Charlie. That is very sad. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this off with a Surging Strikes. Look at that, it took forever this... Gosh dang, I swear, I think this was like a 10 minute battle, but this video is going to be like 20 minutes long, hopefully. I'm not trying to drag these episodes on very long, but gosh dang, that was the longest, very longest G-Max battle I've ever had in my life. Gave me like flashbacks to Goki's um, battle against, uh, I think it was uh, Schuberg in the Soul Link Versus. I think it was episode 9 of that series. Gosh dang, there's so many memories of that. Now, now, now I feel his pain now. I, I I feel his pain. I feel his pain. Gosh dang, this thing was literally max knuckling me, boosting up its attack stat. Then it was defend order, special defense, and defense went up. And it was just a super long battle that it's just, oh my gosh. Just, I'm glad I'm done with it. So anyways, uh, honey that Dynamax Vespa coin produced it. Honey that, Dy that Dynamax, what, what? Max honey? Wow. I, I sure wasn't expecting a Dynamax Vespa coin to come swooping out to attack us. Now I was too shocked to even think of joining in the battle. Huh. Oh really? Thanks a lot, Hop. I was struggling over there. That is some seriously sticky honey. I'm sure it's that I'm sure it's the certain something Yorishuva loves. And it seems like that honey was setting off my power spot detector too. The max mushrooms and this honey you can find here on the Isle of Armor, they both seem to have some kind of tie to Dynamaxing and Gigantamaxing. There's tons we don't know no don't yet know about it, so there's ton of research just to be waiting to be done. Come on, you got the thing you were looking for, so let's head back to the dojo at once. You're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. But anyways, I think this is a very great spot to end off this episode. So, uh, if you guys enjoyed this episode of the Pokemon Sword and Shield DLC, don't forget to drop down a like and let me get this TM real quick. Paul and Puff. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more Pokemon Sword and Shield Isle of Armor content on the channel. So with that being said, this has been your boy, Oscar Chewy Teen, and I'll see you on the next episode. Peace.